Hello and welcome to a specific farm that anyone can do for maddening. So this type of farm is what I'm referring to as a bow farm, where you have a bunch of weak enemies that don't really do that much damage, a bunch of units with bows, and then you just have priests, monks, whatever, just heal them. Uh, Dorothea in particular is really good at this because of her passive. So her passive causes nearby units to gain 10% of their max HP each turn. So what you can do is you can position a unit with a bow, you can have enemy units attack them, they get chip heal, you can actually heal them as needed. And I'm going to show the results of this. This this is really early in the game, so I'm going to show you where I'm at and like the builds I have access to. But Alright, so Caspar just got his death blow, so he's done. So we're going to rotate in, let's see, maybe Sylvain? Yeah, let's rotate in Sylvain, he needs it. All right, now it looks like I made a mistake here, but all I have to do is move a unit. Uh, we can kill this extra one. Just get rid of him. It's good to do with low level things. So what you can do is you can hold on to quests and do this at any point in time. Just kind of move some guys around. Uh, that extra one, he's not gonna be able to do anything. So I don't mind if he attacks Leone here. All right, so the passive heals. I'm also doing a farm up here, a mastery farm, where you have a broken weapon. I probably should unequip this, but it doesn't matter. Uh, broken weapon, they're in trees. Um, I, I have an extremely low chance to counterattack them. It's like 10% hit rate. And I'm going for C and axes so I can test into Brigand. So this is also going on up here. So this is what the farm looks like. So if you have the statue upgrade, the renowned statue upgrade that gives you class mastery plus one, every time you get attacked you get two mastery. If you get attacked by two things a turn, that's four mastery a turn. In ten turns that's forty mastery. So you can see how this is extremely effective for grinding out things like death blow. Get that early game tempo. Oh, I actually have a zero percent chance to hit. Okay. So let's look at how many turns we have. So we have 21 turns left, or we're on 21 turn, turn 21. Uh, no one's really gonna take serious damage and Dorothea will just keep chip healing. So we can just actually pass here. And you can skip enemy turn to make this go by really fast. So this, is a, this isn't as bad as you would think. Just hit plus to skip. All right, mastered skills for Archer. She now has hit plus 20. So she can rotate out, that's all she needed. Uh, we'll replace... We can do this. I uh, will kill this one. Just get rid of him. He's gonna, really? He's gonna target Bernadetta? Huh. Alright, uh, so Sylvain getting death blow is essential. I'll probably body block for Bernie soon. I don't know why he would attack. <laughs> the AI is so stupid. It's gonna die attacking her. If it attacks her again, it dies. So maybe it'll switch to to Eyelith there, Byleth. See if he has a change of heart. Nope, he's he's uh, dead set on killing himself. Uh, so what I could do here? Let's move her out of here. He probably won't attack her if she has like an accurate weapon. Nope, he's he's really, really wants to die, <laughs> even though I cannot hurt him. Uh, this farm, whatever, we'll just go for it. Oh, he can't deal damage, that's why, he can't even hurt me. This farm isn't as important as the other one. The other one, like, getting death blow, so I don't really mind as much. As long as Sylvain gets death blow, he's just killed himself, basically. <laughs> you fool. We can just keep doing this. It's actually quite fast. He's literally invincible in this case. He's he's not taking enough damage. Let's see where he's at. <laughs> this is actually a pretty quick farm. This is for maddening too, by the way, obviously. I wish I wish I'd played this game earlier. I would have made these videos when the game launched, but fortunately, we're a little late to the party. 
I'm gonna show the results of this after he gets death blow. And what chapter I'm on, because this might be kind of crazy to see. He's almost there. One more. Nice, death blow. Easy death blow. Not even high turn count. Alright, now let's do this. Trying to get them to attack Byleth. Guideleth in this case. Uh, who else needs anything? Cav isn't really... Cav Mastery doesn't matter at all. Um, they really want to attack Ingrid? Okay, there we go. Perfect. This is what we want. Let's see what my hit rate is. Oh, I actually can kill them. They can't hit me, though. Can they even dent me? I don't even think they can. I don't like that 3% crit. I might actually crit them. So now this is turning into... A mastery farm. There's one option I can change. Let's see. Here we go. That'll help. Now it won't put it won't put the cursor back on Byleth at the end. So we can just do this until they die. All right, they're dead. <laughs> All right, so let me show you the results. This I, I did this on a few maps. All right, so we're on chapter six. And just wait until you see some of these builds by chapter six. This is before chapter six. Like the next chapter, the next mission is chapter six. So keep this in mind as soon as it's done loading. It's pretty, it's pretty absurd. Honestly, it should be illegal. It might be so good that it's illegal. Just wait, wait till you see some of these units builds. All right, I guess we have to, we want to host T really quick. And this is a Dorothea video, so. Dorothea T time. You know we're gonna, we're gonna moon max this too. I don't know all these off the top of my head. I could guess, but. All right, let's see if we get, we have if we have good intuition or not. So it's mostly girly things. Let's see, what is she interested in as a unit? Uh, maybe childhood memories? Nope. Nope, so it's I'm counting on you, okay. That makes sense, she's like, oh yeah. All right, so I had a bad guess. Uh, probably the opera. <laughs> That's, I don't have to look that one up, I know that one. Courtyard couple, uh, probably that or you seem well. Yeah, you seem well. Cool. This is good for getting charm. Alright, I'm really not a fan of hymns. She's not a fan. You can tell by her face. Okay, so it's... Chat. Okay, we're having a perfect tea time. It's as... It's as good as it gets. Give me charm. Give me free charm. What? Come on, dude. I got perfect tea time. I deserve some charm for that. Well done. I deserve. Well done. All right, we got a quest. Cool. Steel sword. Great. We have some certifications. We got an advanced seal. <laughs> for Lindhart, he's a little bit of an overachiever in this playthrough. Looks like he's about to become a bishop. Nice. All right, so we got a bishop before chapter six with warp. He's A plus faith. <laughs> so that's not even the worst part. That's not even the worst part. It gets so much worse. All right, look at these. Look at these units. All right. All right, let me show you. All right, Byleth is one of my like least built up units. Um, I could run alert stance. I would rather have. I still like the plus five health until like way late in end game. Um, I could probably run something like this. That's probably fine. Uh, but that's not even one of my best units. Let's look at let's look at Bernadetta right now. You see any you see any problems? <laughs> you see any problems with this build? <laughs> see anything see anything you like? See anything that looks good here? Do you like this? Do you like this build here? Do you like this build? 
I think you do. I think you like Death Blow, Darting Blow, Head Plus 20, Strength Plus 2 before Chapter 6. I think you might like that. Alright, well, what about what about some of this other stuff? I don't think she's ever going to really make use of this, so I'll just go for damage. Uh, Rally Charm is actually good. Maybe she doesn't really get hit. I don't know. Maybe do this. All right. All right. Then what about what about this build? What, what's 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 going on here? <laughs> does this look, does this look fine? <laughs> this is the result of min maxing early game. Uh, all right. He gets Death Blow now. Nice. He's gonna be a Lance user. Uh, she she just got. I just got her. So she's still a little baby. Actually, yeah, we might as well trade Sword Prowess. She's going to use a Gambit. Okay, that's good. All right, and then we just got Leonie as well. I just got her Strength plus two. She needs to get some better classes, so that's whatever. But do you like do you like these builds here? This early? Do you like this? Do you like this? Death Blow and Darting Blow? Death Blow, Darting Blow, Hit plus 20, Strength plus two. Before Chapter 6? Is that is this okay? Is this allowed? Well, I go to jail for this. It seems like it's illegal. It seems way too fucking good. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> I can make them all flyers too, but I don't. I, I'm not going to yet because of the the gambit. There's like there's like few gambits right now for flyers. Um, okay, let's go to the marketplace. I think they're still sold out of um, yeah out of stock. I need to test Byleth into um, Brigand, but. Yeah, but, I mean, even Darting Blow, Strength Plus 2, or Lurch Stance this early, that's pretty good. And then we got Strength Plus 2, I mean, that's whatever. But the the big thing here, the, these both have Fiendish and Magic Plus 2. Not that Lindhart ever even needs to hit something, but if he did. And then we have, we have two units with Death, Darting Blow, Hit 20, and Strength Plus 2. <laughs> They're not even level 20 yet. This is so dumb. I love this, this is great. This is great. This is the best thing. I'm going to rearrange these so they're exactly the same. So I think it was... Alright, the this... Was it that? Ah, oh, dang it. I, I put it in the same order. Hit plus 20 should be prioritized more, but obviously you're going to run the strength plus 2. This, this is broken. This should be illegal. That's the result of min-maxing. By, by chapter six, so then you got all your supports. Like all the units have like really high supports with everyone from all the training stuff, so you get like even more advantage. So if you're trying to beat Maddening easily, this is like the way to do it. And Sylvain was like a recruit just from being female, and you know we have his artifact and shit <laughs> this early as well. I think she has it, but yeah, that is min maxing. It's it easily breaks the game, unfortunately. Uh, thanks for checking this out. Definitely like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And Dorothea is cool.